Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at time management and why it's so important for you to get a grip of managing your time before it starts to manage you. <music> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them enjoy their motherhood too. Okay, so time management, it's no secret that I'm a bit of a time management addict. This came from the realisation that when my mum got sick, I suddenly realised life was short. Something could happen at any moment that would mean the time I'd had was all the time I was going to have. I wanted to make the most of my every day because that was my life. Your every day is your life. It's not these one-off big events, it's your every day, which leads to your every week, which leads to your every month, which leads to your every year, which leads to your life. I wanted to manage the time within that so much better. Now some people think, oh that means like cramming your time full of things and getting loads of things done, but actually for me it's, it's kind of the opposite. It means when I manage my time I am suddenly got space for chill out time. I've got time for family time and rolling around on the floor for cuddles and I've got the time to go off and fill my cup up and do a little bit of self-care. I've got time to do all those things that matter to my values. I have a, a short PDF download about discovering your values if you're not sure what I'm talking about there which I will link down below and that helps you go into what are the 10 areas that are most important to you. What are areas in your life that you need to have there to basically complete your soul, to fill, fill you up? If I didn't manage my time, there is no way I could fit in all those 10 things that are really, really important to me. I don't feel complete unless I have a certain level of each of those in my life. And how am I gonna do that if I'm not managing my time? Time can get away with you so quickly. How often have you sat down on your phone to just have like five minutes on Instagram and like two hours later you're still scrolling, your like leg has gone numb and you suddenly realise you're still sat on the loo? Is that just me? I am terrible for this until I really looked at, hang on a minute, I'd much rather be doing something else with these two hours. Now I have set times throughout the day that I will allow myself Literally, I put a timer on and sit and do my social media. The other times I pop onto social media are either because I've scheduled to do something, like I've scheduled to do a live at that time, or that I've done something a little bit quicker. So these are my, my little social media buffers. If something's happened a little bit quicker, maybe I've got somewhere quicker so the traffic wasn't so bad, I'll allow myself a bit of time there to sit through social media. But there's always a deadline because I've gone somewhere for something. The key thing is that I have managed that time. So it's by my choice and it's by my design. And your time is yours. Of course it should be by your design and your choice. There's even areas of our lives where we're being dictated to by other people where it's not completely necessary. If there is something in your everyday life or that happens maybe once a week or something that isn't at a time that suits you or that it takes too long, take a look at it and see if there's another option. This may be that there's a class that you go to but actually it means traveling in rush hour. Is there another time you could be doing that class and so you're traveling in quieter traffic or a different location that means you could just walk down the road instead of having to drive half an hour? These things are really worth looking at. I've managed to claw back so much time by looking at the problem areas, the areas in my life that are sucking out time and go, whoa, this thing is not worth that time investment. How can I fix it? I'm a big fan of time blocking. I've done a video on that that I'll link down below. I talk about it a lot. Uh, we've done things in the Facebook community group about how to manage your time and time block out so much better and really get a grip of where is all your time going. In the meantime, Google Calendar for me is an absolute game changer. And I was someone that loved paper, but moving my diary into that digital format and all the features that Google Calendar offers, it just really took my time management to a completely different level. This isn't in any way sponsored. I would love to one day be sponsored by Google Calendar because I do mention them a lot. If you've watched my other stuff, I feel like this is coming up a lot. In the end, time is not refundable. It, we don't get any money back for the time we've wasted. We don't get any time back for the time we've wasted. So it's time we got a grip of ourselves and our time. I would love to hear what's the one thing that you really wish you had more time for down in the comments below. 
and then maybe I can help you find that extra time. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh